Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Radiating Beauty with myself, Denise. That's me, I'm Denise. So lovely to see you guys again for this video. This is following series one of my products I received in the BoxyCharm by Ipsy for one year. Now, I want to preface this by saying that I received actually a lot of skincare from BoxyCharm by Ipsy and some really great brands. Unfortunately, as I pile through that skincare a lot of them when I used so I apologize but what I have left which is quite a bit I think will be of rather interest to you because there is some real winners here and do me a favor if you're new to my channel and you just stumbled upon it and you're also of the 45 plus group and you just kind of want to talk about makeup I'm a Canadian youtuber in Western Canada that loves to just do unboxings makeup review and sometimes a little get ready with with me's and tutorials and if that's something you're interested in then I'd love for you to be a part of the radiating beauty family without further ado let's get into so that. I also want to start the video by saying that the format's going to be a little bit different I decided to just use my built-in camera um, just because I wanted to use the natural light that comes into my little makeup room here and I thought it was important to kind of see the full picture and also I'm not doing a tutorial so you don't need a zoom up you don't need high detail you know these built-in cameras on the these iMacs they're not really high definition like my i14 Pro but um, they I think are good because it just shows you the natural light and my skin in general and that was one of the things that I really sort of inspired me to talk about it because I really consciously started using the products that I was getting in my BoxyCharm because let's face it I was paying for them and I really wanted to see were they any good so I had to do it in batches because I am very fair skinned as you can see I also also have extremely sensitive skin and I still have oil in the t-zone and a little bit of dryness I guess not really dryness more normal maybe to dry a little bit on the outsides um, this is a completely au natural face there is no Botox there's no collagen there is no filler it's all the lines and wrinkles everything that you see which was naturally uh, naturally earned with all of my facial expressions and laughter and and sadness and tears over the years uh, this is me au naturel get into the first product which I'm sadly at the end of I absolutely love this product I had a feeling I would uh, because I love facial sprays in general and take that with a grain of salt because facial sprays for everything that they're chalked up to have how much are you absorbing that's the question you know I'm a healthcare professional uh, that doesn't make me a skincare expert but it gives me a little bit of more background knowledge perhaps. I don't know that you're absorbing so much that you spray on your skin, but uh, you're feeling the benefits of it. And I do like that fresh, clean feeling. So um, I just wanted to talk about this one. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And it is exactly that. It is this light, refreshing watermelon scent. If you can imagine cutting a big, juicy, fresh watermelon like in the store and just kind of that fresh, very light fragrance, that's what Glow Recipe is. And I wasn't sure because I kind of thought, is it for the younger set? It seems a little juvenile with all the different scents and the fruits. And I kind of thought, is it any good? But you guys, this is amazing. It is just just so light I spray it on every morning after I do a quick wash and make sure you know that my skin is cleansed ready to go but it also is the fine spray you can even see that I just wish you could smell it it just feels so refreshing um, my favorite before that was the multivitamin facial spray that fresh made and sadly they don't make it anymore so this is definitely an excellent facial spray if you just like that atomized refreshing kind of spritz on your face um, you know all throughout the year because let's face it it's winter it's January Christmas is over you guys we're into 2024 and I'm still absolutely loving this facial spray but again it's a little pricey glow recipe but you can often get them on sale or you can use your points at Sephora but so 
so refreshing such a lovely treat so love that for cleansers that i've been using my number one cleanser unfortunately and i have yet to go replace it at sephora just because i'm finishing off the one i'm going to show you next but would have to be youth to the people i absolutely love the uh, green uh, youth to the people facial cleanser um it is just you know, it suds up, which I still like. I know that can be a little bit drying, but I do apply moisturizer and uh, screen, uh, sunscreen. But I just love that one. It's the big one. And then last year I got it like the big gloss one and then used that all up. And then I even had a smaller trial size one. But I received this one in a boxy charm. And I love this. This is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. And if you've watched me, if you know any of my videos, you'll know that I am a huge citrus fan. But I'm kind of picky about my citrus scents. Like I like sort of lemon, lime, orange smell but I don't want them to be over sort of you know overreaching I don't want them to smell like candy or cheap or you know kind of like a synthetic version of the citrus I want it to smell like I cut an orange I cut a lemon I cut a lime like that sort of thing more on the tart side than on the sweet side but then when I apply it to my skin if it's in a perfume or a hand cream or a facial cleanser I don't want it to be irritating to my skin because again I have very sensitive skin this is none of those things this is is really a lovely of course full size that's the beauty of boxycharm you're paying a little extra nowadays but it sure is nice and it's just a very I'll put a tiny little bit on my hand so you can see it's just a very light uh, kind of cream you put it all over you add some nice warm water and then I use one of my uh, magic erasers the microfiber cloth and I just really get into all the grooves and clean it all off I mean, just even the smell of it on my hand, to be honest, without any water is absolutely beautiful. It uh, it doesn't have an overwhelming smell. It does a lovely job of cleansing the face, taking off any remnants that might be left over from your first cleanse, which usually I use the micellar cleansing water to do eye makeup and lipstick and other stuff, um, mascara, but then I finish it off with this. And then I also wash my face in the morning as well, because if you're in that 40 plus you know a little bit about the night sweats cold sweats all of those fun things that come with perimenopause menopause and postmenopause um, if you're in the 45 to 55 range and you like to just kind of again feel refreshed so cleansing it with the Ole Hendrickson truth juice daily cleanser it's beautiful if you like orange you'll really like it it's not stripping it doesn't dry the skin and then give it a little spritz with the glow recipe watermelon fine spray missed it's a real treat so I've only used it once because again I don't try to purposely agitate my skin some people go out of their way with microdermabrasions everything to kind of turn over accelerate kind of the shedding of dead skin cells getting to that beautiful new fresh skin that's underneath but I don't like to agitate my skin too much because it just gets angry and using any kind of like scrubs will generally do that but I do like the idea of a scrub when I feel after a month's worth of makeup that I need something to just get a deeper cleanse. This Pure Lease, which is totally a Korean makeup brand, which is great skincare brand. This is the Dragon Fruit and Niacinamide Exfoliant. And you guys, it is just lovely again it's like fruit scented that seems to be the theme it's quite thick it just comes out you can see very tiny it's not like big one and you don't need a lot because it has like physical exfoliants that are in there and then you basically just apply a little water apply it all over kind of give it a nice sort of manual rub I usually I just use my hands it has a light refreshing smell. I'm not sure how accurate the dragon fruit smells like because I don't think I've even tried dragon fruit. I've seen it many times, but it is lovely. It's not too agitating because it is a physical exfoliant. They have those little microspheres as opposed to kind of like crushed up apricot shells or any of those. Those can be very damaging to the surface of your skin because they are very sharp. Um, this one is really nice. Strengthens, boosts, and creates a radiance to the skin. Again, just a little bit goes a long way. Manually exfoliate, warm face cloth, wipe it all off, and you are good to Two go. serums next. that I have that I received. Um, I did get this JLo Beauty facial serum 
The first thing I want to say about JLo Beauty is, of course, look at Jennifer. <laughs> she is absolutely glowing. That's what she's known known for is the JLo glow. Uh, she gets a lot of assistance. I mean, she has professional makeup artists that are doing her makeup every day. She gets to go to facial spas on the regular, not saying that any of it's artificial, but when you get that kind of maintenance to your skin, your skin should be glowing and look radiant and beautiful and plump. And she was a great ambassador I mean for JLo Beauty right um, the packaging is absolutely stunning there's no two ways that you can take any of the JLo Beauty products and just say like you want to hide them in the bathroom cupboard underneath the sink no you want these present up front top drawer top shelf on the counter um, so people can admire and look at them including yourself I just think it's stunningly beautiful I actually really like this serum I have used just two pumps of it almost every single day. This is the Tightening and Brightening Facial Serum by JLo. It, I don't know all what's in there. I'm sure when I first got it, I read through everything because there are some things that I'm really quite allergic to and will cause redness and irritation. It didn't have any of those ingredients, but I would have to say, is it is it terribly effective? No. Did I see any sort of like tightening and brightening of like, well, tightening of the, you know, crow's feet and the bags and the lines under my eyes and that sort of thing? No, I didn't. But I did see an overall just general brightening to my face. I have very minimal makeup on. I do have a little just everyday mascara and a little eyeshadow. I did my brows and I did my lips today, but I kept my facial makeup very minimal a tiny little bit of blush and just spot concealed because I again with natural light wanted you to see that I've been very happy with using these products over the last year not overdoing them and using them appropriately um, and when I say appropriately not inundating my skin drenching it with 10,000 other things so I am using this on the daily along with that glow spray and also the Ole Hendrickson cleanser and I am finding that it's really kind of giving an overall sort of healthy brightening glow to my skin which I'm not mad about this is really 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 pretty it's expensive so is there other things on the market that probably would do the same job absolutely but it's so pretty and I'm this is one that you would not want to use in conjunction with any retinal products that you're using and it's by selfless by harem and um it's it's called the mandelic acid and rice bran serum this is a nighttime syrup meant to kind of help with hyperpigmentation a brightening of the face and just a general exfoliant i've used it a couple of times i don't find it terribly irritating to the skin um and it's just it's very watery very liquidy so i can't exactly squirt it on my hand and show you it doesn't have any smell to it um i think if you used it over time it would be very good i just didn't want to double up because I'm also using some facial toners and um, so again didn't want to drench my skin but I have used it a few times I tried it for a whole week just on its own like at nighttime cleanse the face and then I would put this on and then I would just kind of tap it in and I found it to be quite effective um, so I have nothing bad to say about this but I can't really give you a seal of approval just because in the short week that I used it and you really have to use skincare for a good at least 90 days to see if there's any benefit to your skin at all to see any changes but I will say it does say do not use with retinal product and I believe that's because then you'd have two sort of more uh, strong uh, components you have the retinol which is very strong and then the mandelic acid soap and the first one I received is this beautiful bottle here this is by Dermalactics this is the purifying toner I mean aside of the fact that this is literally a glass jar it's absolutely another beautifully packaged this was a lovely toner just kind of squirt that on it's like a pump system squirt it on on. I do like three and then I would take a cotton pad and I would just kind of wipe it all over my cleanse face and it really does clarify and kind of tone up the skin it just looks beautiful and my like ride or die toner is sk2 uh you i need to do a whole dedicated skincare video on sk2 because it is ridiculously expensive and it is for a reason because it is 
so, so good. It is one toner that I've used, except with the exception of this last product I'm going to show you in this category. And it literally knocked my socks off with the effect that it had on my skin. It just made everything bright and like healthy and toned. I don't even know. It was like a magic elixir. So that was SK2, which I don't have to show you because I didn't get that in BoxyCharm. But Dermalactics, what a great purifying toner. I have nothing bad to say about this. If I didn't have other loves in this category, I would certainly repurchase this one. It was kind of fun. And there's still quite a bit of it in here because I can't, again, double and triple up on toners. You know, they do a great job, but you have to kind of use one product through. But I did trial it a few times, just wanted to make sure that it was okay for my skin. It wasn't too agitating or irritating. And this is the Ultra Tonic Watermelon Extract Facial Toner. Um, this time, though, you just literally, you know, squirt it on. It's not a pump. But again, the smell of it, it just smells just like fresh watermelon. It's quite amazing. Maybe watermelon is one of those fruits that they can easily synthesize and then it smells like legitimate watermelon. I don't know, but two products that are watermelon and they did a great job. I love the fun packaging. It's full size. As you can see, another glass jar. It's beautiful. Wasn't irritating, fun, but I was already using the watermelon spray, so I didn't want to double up on that and I didn't want to triple up on my this last product, the treatment lotion. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't care what you want to call it. It's in the toner category. This product, I was aware of it. I was just like, whatever, who cares? Um, I didn't, which is kind of surprising because it's from the company Origins and it's by Dr. Andrew Weil. And I don't, you know, many of you may not know who Dr. Andrew Weil is or, or you may have remembered him writing books and videos that he's done in the past. Um, and like that's his study is like world diets and the effects that diets have on us and all the things that we eat and consume and how that affects our overall health and then yes our skin care um, but he created this one it's called the mega mushrooms relief resilience um, soothing treatment um, lotion and it's a liquid it's like a toner but you literally just splash it on your hand so I do like I'd say more than a quarter size amount after I've cleansed again I do this in the morning time and then I just go like this and then I literally pat it all over my face and don't worry it doesn't smell like mushrooms it is unbelievable next to X SK2, which I just said is ridiculously expensive. Like what is the SK2 now? It's like $290 for that toner. This just left my skin looking like it did in my 20s. No word of a lie. It just gives this ethereal, healthy, natural glow to my skin that really just had my jaw drop like I was like used it and I'm like okay Dr. Andrew Weil who I was a huge fan of has have been a fan of has his books um he knocked it out of the park when it comes to this now I don't know how much of the mushroom component is in there when you look at the ingredient list so if you're allergic to mushrooms I would suggest probably don't go in this direction but for everybody else that is just walked by origins you know they have some products and I tried it when they first came out I was like "Ooh, Dr. Andrew Weil I mean he knows what he's talking about and there was a few that were okay and there were some that were duds but this one this is an all-star you guys this is so good I will definitely definitely because I know this isn't two hundred ninety dollars I'll be going out and I'll be replacing this I'm about halfway through and literally like three good like boom 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 and then clean skin put it all over and just let it soak in and when you're looking in the mirror you'll be amazed love the bottles from Earth Harbor so look at the beautiful packaging little dropper love that about that like the ordinary you know I'm a big ordinary fan I buy that on my own I haven't ever received any ordinary products in BoxyCharm by Ipsy but Earth Harbor is a product line that they do carry and I'm never angry when I see these they these are all vegan and uh, you know cruelty free and this Earth Harbor is Calm Marina and it is basically a biome um, brightening ampule that has spirulina and blue algae in it. 
I mean, look at this. And this is beautiful. You just, it's just the dropper. You just take a few drops. I take three. I put it on my hand. Again, it's like a serum. And you just kind of pat it all into a cleansed, toned face. And it's absolutely beautiful. There's no really strong ingredients there. Everything is au naturel and not irritating to the skin. How effective is it? I don't really know. But it feels really nice on the skin. And to be quite honest, I absolutely, again, I am a huge sucker for packaging and that is my aesthetic right there. And then the other one I received, it was kind of more like a serum -y oil. This is Earth Harbor's Nebula. Again, would you look at this? This has sea lavender and ginseng in it, so it's more of a clarifying ampule, but just absolutely stunning and kind of has like I think that I can smell I don't know if sea lavender has like a lavender smell but it has a slight like natural scent to it yeah not really that strong actually very hard to detect now that I'm smelling it out of the bottle maybe that was in my mind but just beautiful again not irritating just two or three drops on your hand uh, just feels good but again is it highly effective I don't know to kind of use it as a supplement this one is I skin thinking. ink and it it's um, like a moisturizer that you would put on before makeup but you can see these tiny this is actually flecks of uh, gold in here and um, it's like a moisturizing um, serum. And then when you put that on your skin and you rub it in, you kind of break up those little spheres. And uh, it just, it does have a slight smell, but kind of like that spa product smell. I don't know if you're, it doesn't smell like any added fragrance, so I don't believe they do. But it just helps to kind of even out skin tone and kind of gets your skin. It's a little grippy, um, so you put it again on a cleansed, toned face. And then it just evens out the skin tone so that when you apply your makeup, it adheres nicely, grabs on. It is quite sticky. It would be like equivalent to kind of like uh, the milk gripping primer. So, you know, just a heads up on that. This was along with that. Uh, watermelon facial spray it was the glow recipe the guava vitamin c eye gel cream this is lovely it's just i'm really starting to really like glow recipe that's a tiny little bit of it it's kind of like this light pink cream it definitely smells like guava it's uh, quite fruity uh, but it dissipates over time and it's a brightening eye cream so I would put that on usually like in the morning time especially if I'm not going to work um, just because of the smell you know I work in a hospital so uh, fragrances are not really um, well they're not uh, received well there you're not supposed to wear things with fragrance there but anyways beautiful packaging it was really beautiful felt very nourishing under the eyes again did it do anything to relieve any of the puffiness or the wrinkles or the fine lines no but it didn't agitate the skin um these are both by herbivore and herbivore has this eye cream in this cute little yellow pot it's called the supernova hydrating and brightening eye cream there it is there and it really Really is like brightening and it's lovely it is this like whipped lovely mm, it does have a smell but not added perfume it's definitely like a product smell like a product or ingredient that's in there um, it's lovely I just love it I just think it's really nice I just take it and then I pat it on with my ring finger and then off I go and then the herbivore night cream just appropriately kind of colored in that beautiful lavender and this is called moon dew and um, again it's another just beautiful lovely uh, the same texture as actually the yellow one and it just goes on and you put it on before you go to bed it's just beautiful it's lovely and nourishing and I think I got that in two boxy charms ago is so the, I think I got on my last boxy charm is another JLo beauty product which I was just like again <laughs> look at the packaging stunning absolutely stunning but this is a that fresh take eye cream so again beautiful packaging a little difficult to open because the base is quite small so keep your nails away um, but it was sealed nicely and it just has this nicely light whipped 
um, you know, gel kind of eye cream. Such a pretty product that it goes right beside the serum on my vanities. In my BoxyCharm, this is kind of an all-over hydrating body gel by Aromatherapy Associates. It's Revive, a body gel to energize and awaken. And often when I shave my legs and I kind of step out of the shower, I literally just slather this all over. Um, I love it. It has this very light kind of uh yeah it's a very light lavender i think there's like lavender grapefruit rosemary juniper i mean it's beautiful it's got all of those scents that i really love uh aromatherapy associates such a nice surprise and works most effectively when your skin is still just slightly damp like most most moisturizers would ipsy i hope you really like this i will try to list all the products down below Of course, it's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Facial Mist. It's just beautiful. It's a real treat. Sometimes in the day um, when I'm tired, I just come home and then I'll spray this on my face. And it just feels amazing. And then a really a surprise right out of the box was the Ole Hendrickson The Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It's not stripping. It's not drying. It has a lovely orange smell. And I just love scrubbing this on. When it's gone, I mean, I'll certainly consider repurchasing it. But I'll be going back to Youth to the People, the facial cleanser. And then this just shocker of a product, Dr. Andrew Wiles by Origins, the Mega Mushroom Resilience. Wow, what a good one. Those are my three favorites from the category of skincare for one year by BoxyCharm. I hope you like this uh, kind of content. Um, I started it, like I said, with doing all of the eyeshadow palettes I received for a year, which was so fun. And uh, I thought this would be just conveniently in the second category. There'll still be one more category, so watch for that. Again, love to have you as part of Radiating Beauty family. I hope you like this format where you just saw me au naturel with natural light and not using my iPhone 14. But when we do makeup, don't be worried. I won't use my built-in camera. I'll be back to my iPhone 14 Pro, no problem problem. Take care, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and we'll see you all next week.